This video is a follow-up uh, on the Romley Stewart Justinian deception uh, scenario that I brought to the attention of my Coral Blade Grotto and also my Grammar Channel audience a few days ago. Uh, what I did was I presented a reaction video to one of Romley Stewart's videos where he's talking about the work he does with the plain English fiction grammar, ancient Latin, styles, manuals, Magna Carta, whatever else he does. Um, what I did was I did not say anything personal about the man, just about the grammar from the perspective of of the closure that I have on correct sentence structure communication partially syntax grammar meaning through the lens of quantum grammar that's the way I looked at it uh, to give a background on myself which I know there are a lot of new people here so I'll repeat myself in college I was an English major I actually began studying etymology and was encouraged to do so by an English teacher in my freshman year in high school so I basically had a lifetime of studying language and grammar, etymology, parse, those types of things. So I'm very familiar and very comfortable in the domain that Romley Stewart claims is his uh, area of study. That he says he's been studying for years. Also, he said he went to some college or school for three years and so on and so forth. So I have experience and knowledge in that field of plain English. Matter of fact, I had to unlearn all of that stuff in order to learn correct sentence structure in 2017. Now I'm a tutor of correct sentence structure, been teaching it for almost five years now. To hundreds of people all over the earth, there's 300 plus channels, uh, sorry, 300 plus videos on my YouTube channel certifying this knowledge as well as the uh, confidential workshops that I provide for those who qualify for them. Now here's the issue. I did this reaction video and then there were a few commenters on there that came on and I guess sort of felt like I was attacking Romley, which I was not. And I make that quite clear in the video. I'm not attacking anyone. I'm auditing the grammar from the lens of correct sentence structure. It's that simple. I make it very clear that I respect the work the guy's done. He's put a lot of work into it. And, you know, he's obviously out there uh, testing and performing because... I know that his partner, whoever, I can't remember who their name is, was put in jail. And people have also said that Romley's also been in and out of jail, which means they're out there testing whatever it is they're doing. Now, whether they're succeeding with it or not, I have no idea. But they are testing it. And I have much respect for that type of thing, for performance. So the issue came when this video was brought to the attention of Romley. And I made it quite clear that, hey, you know, I'd be open to talk to the guy. And, you know, if he's interested in correct sentence structure, I think he'd really dig it if he, if he understood it. Because he quite plainly does not. Or at least he doesn't betray any knowledge of it at all in any of his videos. He has no clue about it. So Romley himself uh, left a comment on the video. And very interestingly enough, he starts it off by saying, that he is Romley Stewart and he makes no claim. Now that's interesting to me, someone who comes from the background of correct sentence structure in that in correct sentence structure, as claimants, we make claims of knowledge from our knowledge based on our cognition from our ports of sensation, which means our senses, the way we sense the world. First-hand knowledge. Those are claims. We claim those. We claim positions as facts. Because you can't have standing unless you make a claim and have a position with which to stand on with authority. And authority comes from knowledge and the closure of that knowledge and the ability to convey that knowledge. These are simple rule one rule equal judge mechanics. Romley goes to say that he makes no claim. So that leads me to think, what is he saying in these videos then? If he makes no claim, then he has no position, which means he has no authority. I also in the video, the reaction video, say that he quite plainly gives authority to his closures and his claims to the fiction grammar. He uses a fiction styles manual. He defers to the Magna Carta, which is a fiction babble document, adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, full of modification. 
And yes, he says that it's all language is all symbols. Well, yes, of course it is. But we, as men and women, live creatures, have to communicate. And if we're here to be understood, if we're here to be cogn cognizant of one another, if we're not here to be misunderstood, if we're not here to create chaos, but we're here to create uh, understanding and joinder, then we use these words and symbols in a common conveyance, a common trade medium. And the most potent of these trade mediums is quantum grammar. Now to my point. He dismisses quantum grammar in his comment, which was a huge comment. So right away I could see, okay, this for sure this guy has no clue what quantum grammar is about. I'll open myself up to communicating with him. So I replied back, my kuleana, I offered him to contact me via jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com if he would like to discuss it further via video communication. Because in video communication, it's I mean, almost as good as being face to face. We can look at each other eye to eye, man to man, and, and speak on what we have to speak on. And hopefully no one's there to be misunderstood. We're both there to, to say our piece and be open to hear what each other has to share. Because I said, type, these types of matters, you know, don't, for me, and this is my vessel, this is my comment field that he came on board willingly. No one forced him to comment on my channel. He's on my vessel. I directed him to contact me so that we could talk about it in a more efficient manner of communication, i.e. video chat. He just had to email me. Rather than debating in a social media comment section. He decided to continue to comment and post these super long spam comments. And by the way, other students of mine who shared my video in other venues, like Justinian Deception discussion groups and things like that, they showed me that he had actually copy and pasted that comment that he posted on my channel and copy and pasted it in other groups as well, which means that's spam commenting. That's troll-ish behavior, by my knowledge. So in any case, he chose to ignore the terms and conditions of my vessel, meaning I directed him to contact me so that we could talk about it man-to-man, eye-to-eye on video chat, peacefully and neutrally, of course. But he didn't, uh, he ignored that directive, that offer, and chose instead to continue participating in a social media comments field, which caused me to categorize him as troll and jettison him from the vessel because he's not there. He's not open to learn correct sentence structure, quite obviously. Not at all. And here's the other issue. Normally what I find, unfortunately, from individuals who are very well versed in common law and things like that and grammar, when they come upon correct sentence structure, they don't understand it for whatever reason. Maybe they choose not to understand it or they just maybe can't grasp it right away. It's not something you can grasp like that. It's just not. So instead of being open to learn it or having humility to learn it, they dismiss it and think that they know all they need to know about it when they know nothing about it. So here's two positions juxtaposed together. My position where, yes, I have a lifetime of study of plain English and languages, and etymology, and par se, right? I went to school for it, same as him. Maybe not the same school, but I've been studying it. And there's him. He has his knowledge, same venue, same topic. And then here's me. I have closure on correct sentence structure, communication, par se, syntax, grammar. I have that knowledge and share it on a daily basis. And here's him. He has no knowledge of it, nothing. So therefore, I have a position, I have a claim, I make a claim, I'm a grammar tutor, I perform on that claim on a daily basis. He has no claim for correct sentence structure, he has no knowledge of it that he shows, so therefore he has no position with which to say anything about it other than just share an assumption, presumption, opinion. And on a side note, his followers began flooding my comments section with their comments 
uh, ranging from condescending, derisive, dismissive, flat out rude. And it really reminded me of Colin Russell hyphen J. Colin Gould and his followers, how they are, how they think they can just come on to any comment section and just start ridiculing and bad mouthing and just being plain out rude when having no knowledge of what it is they're talking about. And uh, much like Russell J. Gould's followers, Romley's followers are, are very, I mean, it's called protagonist-centered morality. Like, they, they are just like, Romley can do no wrong, and I'm stupid <laughs> for, for criticizing Romley's grammar, I guess, in their minds. And none of them have a lick of knowledge about correct sentence structure. That's just the way it is. So that, I just wanted to put this out here to clear this up. Um, the venue for email is still open if Romley would ever want to contact me and learn correct sentence structure or be open to it, but I don't think he ever will because he's not open to it, and that's fine. I personally do not ridicule or dismiss any type of technique or grammar or instrument that gets results. If you get results using fiction against fiction, bless you. More power to you. Whatever works. Use what works. Use what's safe. Use what you're successful with. So on and so forth. But then again, you know, I keep hearing that they keep going, that he keeps going to jail or his friends in jail. So I don't know how safe or successful what he's using is, but I'm not knocking it. If it's successful, use it. All quantum grammar is is just another tool in your tool belt, right? There's lots of tools. There's not one correct way for everyone to use. And by correct, I mean correct, if you know what that means. For me, correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar is the correct way. And I've been 100% uh, successful with it. Um, and I teach it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here doing this. So that's where I stand with that. Uh, Romley's been jettisoned. His followers, his cult followers are being jettisoned as well. Because I like to keep the noise level down. And at first I was going to entertain it over on Coral Blade Grotto. You know, some of these goofy comments. But no, I'm not going to tolerate it over there either. No time for chicanery or hijinks or trolling. Uh, it's just for there for people who are open-minded and want to learn. Especially correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. So again, the venue's still open for you, Romley. If you want to contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. We can set up a video meeting, consultation, chat, whatever you want to call it. And I can fill you in on correct sentence structure. Matter of fact, a man of your intelligence, I could probably do it within 10, 15 minutes. If you're open to hear it. Which, from your comments, I really don't think you are. And that's cool too, because it's not for everybody. Thanks for watching. I think I'm going to post this on both of my channels. I appreciate your viewership. And hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it provided some clarity on the subjects mentioned. You can email me at the email address that's uh, been screened at the bottom of your picture for the whole video, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. If you have any grammar questions, or if you wish to participate in a 10 to 15 minute video consult, or if you wish to apply for a correct grammar workshop. You can email me there. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel and also my Coral Blade Grotto channel if you'd like. And always remember that authority comes from knowledge and the skill in conveying that knowledge and closure. Thanks.